Alright guys, so we're back here in the water. I was going for more pow pow on this trip. And this is like the first couple drops. I think this is the second, second or third drop here of the day. And uh, yeah, the target species for today is pow pow. And the whole point of shooting pow pow is you're diving down and you're waiting here and you're grunting and looking into the murk. Well, all of that grunting also will attract sharks. So this hammerhead comes right up. I don't know if you can see that on YouTube. I don't know if the quality is good enough because he's right in the murk. Um, but yeah, that hammerhead shark comes, cruises by just to check me out. And uh, I, I stay down and try and see if some pow pow come by too. Because a lot of predators will travel this drop off. So I'm just making sure that, uh, you know, the shark's not coming back, but also that if there's a pow pow, I can go ahead and take him. Didn't see anything on that drop and I head back to the surface. I didn't see any pow pow on this dive actually. After a while, we decided to go into a shallower area and hunt some smaller fish like kole and whatever to get for dinner, like palanis or pualus. And uh, I find these little coral beds that the UH students, I think, are planting coral or trying to grow coral. A bunch of these little coral um, sanctuaries. And sure enough, right by these coral sanctuaries, some squid were hanging out. Um, I saw about six or seven of them. So I've never seen squid in Hawaii. And I line up and I take the shot. Super, super interesting. I've been hunting squid for so dang long, but you can see there all the ink that comes out of just one squid. This was probably two shakas long. But yeah, I am just so stoked. I've been hunting and trying to find squid uh, for the longest, longest time. Uh, I know that they're in the bay, but these things are super, super rare. Uh, but I do know that they like structure. So I think that's why they hang out around these um, coral farms or coral beds. But yeah, I've been in all of my years of diving, I've never seen a squid in the wild in Hawaii before. This is the first one I've ever seen. Um, and fortunately, yeah, we we're able to take them, take them home and, and cook them for dinner. But these things are, are just incredible. Um, they taste insane. I, I love uh, fried calamari. So that's what we're going to go ahead and cook for today. And I'll teach you exactly how to do that. Let's go ahead and uh, dispatching the squid. And as soon as you dispatch them, they do change color real quick. So they turn from that brown, like darker red to this white color. And, and uh, that's how you know they're dead. So you wanna make sure that they turn this white color um, throughout most of their body for humane, humane death. And anyways, we're uh, just swimming back over to the boat. Uh, it's the afternoon, so we gotta get back to the house. Um, but yeah, this was a really, really fun episode. I'm so, so stoked I was able to get a squid again. I don't know how the heck that happened. Um, but yeah, these things are pretty rare. I'd say rarer than Golden Trevally even. And so I'm super stoked to go ahead and show you guys how I like to cook my squid and how I prep them. All right guys, so this is a quite an interesting day of diving. Not only stalked by a hammerhead, but we are also managed to spear a squid. Now this is not what my target species was for today. Um, I was actually going for more pow pow because I'm addicted to them. Uh, but we managed to go uh, and find a school of squid. And these are actually pretty rare in Hawaii. Uh, this, is, this is my first time seeing one in all of my years of diving. So super grateful. We'll have to go back to that spot and hopefully there's some more. But before I uh, go ahead and put this in the fridge, I wanted to show you guys how you can uh, clean your squid. So the first way is that you are going to take the head piece right here and you're just going to go ahead and pull out any internal organs like so like that. Push it all out and grab it with your fingers. And this section is the only hard part of a squid and they usually call it a squid bone. Most of you have heard um, of cuddle bones, especially if you're a bird owner. Um, cuttlefish have a really hard uh, looking plastic piece. but. Apparently it's really good for birds to rub their beaks on. This is what it looks like in a squid. All right, so now that is like relatively clean. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and save that. You're just gonna try and get as close as you can to the eyes that you're saving as much of the typical meat as possible. Break that through. And then now you're going to pop the beak out right there through the tentacles. Just use your thumb to do that. Grab the beak. Quite a small beak for a, for a squid this 
you're gonna take the mantle and we're just gonna cut um, some small rings out of the head. And this is exactly what uh, the fried calamari rings are. You kinda wanna keep it a little thin. That was probably a little too thick. But small things like this, those are perfect rings uh, for the fried calamari. You're just gonna do this until you run out of space. All right guys, so we just finished everything. There's the calamari nice and clean. We're gonna put this in the fridge and then we're gonna cook this uh, tomorrow. Our, some grandparents are flying in, so we're gonna go ahead and cook it for dinner and then hopefully put on a nice meal. All right, folks, so the calamari has been in the fridge overnight and all of this is clean rings, pretty dry, but these are going to taste so, so good. You can see here, we've got the head piece right here. And I'm really excited to see how the tentacles taste. Um, but this is gonna be a very, very easy catch and cook that we're gonna do here with this fried calamari. So the ingredients are gonna be really basic. Um, all we're using right now is just some lemon. That's gonna be used for later though. Uh, the only ingredients that we have here is um, some egg. I just whisked it, that's just one egg. And then um, some all purpose flour um, as well. Those can be in two separate bowls. And then of course the main dish or uh, ingredient is the squid itself. Take a ring of squid. We're going to lather it in some egg. And we're gonna just put it inside of that flour and just run it through the flour, make sure that it's got enough flour covering the entire ring. And you're basically just gonna repeat this process. All right, so as you can see, we just breaded and floured the entire calamari tentacles and all. You can just come over here, we're gonna go over to our oil pot pan just because uh, we don't want it to heat up the house. And you're just gonna put in your calamari like so. All right, now you're just gonna wait until this calamari is a nice crisp golden brown on both sides. So once it's golden brown on one side, we're just gonna go ahead and flip it, and then we're gonna wait till it's golden brown on the other side. You don't wanna undercook it, but again, you don't wanna overcook it either, but it to be just right. So we're just gonna wait a little bit, and hopefully it's golden brown, and uh, we'll see how it tastes. All right, now we're just gonna take our calamari ring and uh, put them onto a plate. Last step that we have is we're just gonna add some of this lemon all on top of the calamari. And then really it's ready to serve uh, after that. You can uh, serve it with a, a sauce of your choice right now. I'm just gonna use gold ketchup. Surprisingly, ketchup is incredibly, incredibly good. Okay, that is really good. It tastes just like a restaurant style. Um, calamari. That was like perfect consistency. Well, that's gonna wrap up this catch and cook. Super simple recipe. I'm glad that we're able to finally get another species on the table. We've been getting, getting a lot of new ones recently. So it's been fun. Literally had to go up against a hammerhead for this meal, but it's all worth it in the end. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.